The Hellenic carrier had in its hold some 150,000 gallons of diesel fuel and huge bales of paper, among other items, when it collided with the Lash Atlantico Wednesday. The portion of its cargo lost at sea as a result has all but washed ashore here at North Carolina's Outer Banks. Norfolk-based Industrial Marine Service signed up workers as quickly as they came to this temporary headquarters across from the Armada Inn. But their enthusiasm quickly dimmed somewhat when it was time to get down to business. This is essentially a manual type of cleanup because we cannot afford to remove any significant amount of sand. The erosion problem down is severe, as you know, and we want to leave all the sand we can. So the oil is being removed by men with shovels. A few miles south from where much of the cleanup activity is going on, we found a lifeboat from one of the two vessels and bales of paper literally sprinkled every 50 yards or so. One of the park rangers told me if this had been a sunny day, about 80 degrees, the beaches would have been crowded with over 1,000 people. That would have made cleanup efforts a little bit more difficult. High tides washed much of the oil out to sea again, meaning more work for the crews when it does settle back on shore. The whole project could run up a bill of more than $200,000 and span several days. A disappointing 82 people turned out during the time we were there to grab the $4 an hour cleanup jobs with plenty of overtime. And Parker says they could easily use two or three times that number. Uh, if you know anybody who wants a job, send them to us. We'll hire them immediately. Don Roberts, Area 10 Eyewitness News, The Outer Banks, North Carolina.